This segment brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Well, I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And this is Around Kansas. And I just flew in from Western Kansas just <laughs> for I this just episode. And I rode in. <laughs> you sure did. I saw that pile of bones out in the parking lot. <laughs> yes, the witch and the ghost rider. Well, happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were going to dress up, but we didn't have time, did we, to put costumes on? So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, here so, we are. Yeah, and just imagine at night this all becomes flame. <laughs> Or not, <laughs> or, or, or just, or just don't imagine it. Yeah, <laughs> well, we don't you, want to. We don't want to frighten small you, kids. You, you brought your transportation. Is that not a great broom? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's just the best broom ever. Oh I love my! It. I love it. <laughs> hey, I got some bad news. Uh oh! I know. Stan out at Norton broke his foot. I know. That's sad, but. The good news is, mm -hmm. while he was mending from his broken foot, his wife, Carolyn, had Around Kansas on every morning. Oh, well, there you go. So that's the good news. He got addicted to Around Kansas. <laughs> but then, of course, Stan mended. And he had to go back to work. Mm. So that's the bad news. Well, he can watch it online. Well, he asked Carolyn, this is the good news, this, you're oh, right, okay. online. <clears throat> Sorry, I was but, but the modern TiVo, he's like, now you have to TiVo around Kansas every morning now that he's out and working, you know, before, really, that's how hard a worker Stan is. He's a farmer. He's out working before we come on. All these people that <laughs> complain that we come on too early, mm -hmm. Stan is already out in the field in Norton, people. So <laughs> thank you, Stan. We appreciate your watching. Hmm. Okay. So, so what you doing this weekend? This weekend? Oh, let's see. Uh, now, do you have trick-or-treaters at your house? Oh, yeah. Well, a few. I mean, we used to have a bunch, but I think they all grew up, and, and uh, then we haven't had any more young children move into the neighborhood. But uh, so hopefully some will, will come in. So are you um, going to uh, dress up for Halloween at home? No. No. I used to do a Frankenstein mask, but <laughs> many kids were really free. Stop doing that. Well, um, out out on the windswept prairie, I may just fly around. You know, if I if I don't pay real close attention, you know, and have the the broom outside, I may be airborne before it's over. I found one of those. Michael's going to have to look for this. One of those you know, made up story. I guess it was made up about all the riches, the witches who were arrested for uh, flying over Kansas oh, yeah. and how, <laughs> how they um, uh, were violating airspace and all that good stuff. So yeah, but come on, dude, do the line, you know, I'm going to get you and your little dog. I'm going to get you and your little dog too, my pretty. Okay, there you go. How was that? That was good. We'll be back. <laughs> KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. You can catch KFRM in many ways. Of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at KFRM.com, or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app, or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays, and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did.